All right, so the stem stitch. So we're gonna start our stem stitch right at the start here. <clears throat> coming up from the back of the fabric. And then we're coming one stitch length and pulling it through. But before we close our stitch, we're actually gonna come up back up through the center of that stitch and pull down. I just wanna make sure that my threads are laying nice and flat. Um, and then we're pulling our original stitch closed. Okay. And our next stitch, we will do the same thing. We're gonna go down through the fabric a stitch length away. So our stitch length would be the length from the end of this one. So it's kind of like a stitch and a half, um, but it's the length And then coming back up through the fabric, just on the other side of where that last stitch came down. So you're creating kind of this rolled um, stitch. It's a th pretty thick stitch too, because you've got um, basically your thread doubles up. I'm using six strands here, but that's a pretty thick version. You can use anywhere from three to six, depending on what you're most comfortable with. And we're just gonna keep rolling along. So um, sometimes I like to give like pull from the top here, just to make sure that the tension on my original stitch comes down um, as tight as I'd like it. Sometimes when I'm pulling down like that, it's pulling on the thread. So I just give it a tug from this direction, making sure that it's sitting properly. Um, and you're gonna come up through the loop from the same side every time you do this. Um, we don't wanna be switching directions. So what I mean by that is that you want your thread to come out from the top of the stitch. If I switch and it's now coming out from the bottom of the stitch, it's just gonna look a little wonky. So what I mean by that is you don't want to all of a sudden be coming up from here and trying to close that because now it just looks you're not on the right side. So if that does happen to you, you can just slip your needle through and get back on the right side. All right, so you don't have to um, like hold that, oops, hold that loop, but I always do. It just makes it easier for me to keep control of everything. All right, and you're just gonna follow that all the way to the end to finish your stem stitch practice. And I'll meet you back at the end to show you how to finish this one. All right, so we're ready to finish our stem stitch. So, you're gonna come down. I normally split the last amount of my stitch in half so that then I'm creating kind of like a shorter one. Um, and then just finishing it by coming down through to the back of the fabric. Um, and you're just gonna tie off and you're all done.